And Vera, thank you for joining us today. It's a complete pleasure. All right, now moving on, I would like to call on stage Mr. John Casey, the new era sales and retail director, EMEA, for the past eight years. Mr. John. Okay, thank you. What does brand Virat Kohli mean to you and bring to you? I think, well, first of all, thank you for, uh, for all turning up tonight. It's a really fantastic event. Um, the, we, as a brand at New Era, are very keen to uh, conquer the Indian market. We're the number one headwear brand in the world. But one of the markets where we're not strong is, is the Indian market. And we know there's huge potential for us. Right. And what we want to be um, is very relevant to our cons consumer in the Indian market. And we, want, we decided that we would need a partner to do that. And there's nobody better for, to have as a partner than Virat. He's number one on the pitch. He's number one off the pitch. The way he plays, the businesses that he helps to run, he's a definite partner for us. He's the number one. And we want to be number one. So it's an easy partnership to make. Well, it makes a lot of sense to me. All right. Um, what's next for New Era in India? You know, it's, um, are you also looking to replicate the street culture trend in India? I think street culture is where it's strong. We're a sports brand at first. You know, we're born out of baseball. That's where we started um, in 1934, where we made the very first baseball cap. So we can say we invented the baseball cap. So we're always rooted in sport. But the culture side of things is also really important for us, which is why, again, a partnership with Virat, who's a fantastic cricketer, but also has appealed to our consumers from a culture level, from a street level as well, is really important. And we believe the Indian market is ready for some street culture. Right. Virat, for you. You know, we all know that fashion really reflects on one's personality. How do you think that fashion affects you as a sports person? Well, um, firstly, I want to thank everyone for coming out. Um, today, it's a very special day for both New Era and me to be able to do this together. Um, answering your question, I think fashion um, plays a very important role in, in presenting who you are and how you feel about yourself right. um, and how confident you are about yourself as well. So um, that to me is a very important aspect. Even on the field, you know, the, the gear that I wear, it's not random, it's, it's precise, it's... it's um, you know, designed in a way that it syncs with me and the way I like it to look as well and how it feels when I, when I wear it. So I think there's a lot of detailing that goes into things that you wear on a daily basis and for me as an athlete on the pitch as well. Right. And I think that's a style statement in itself because I don't use random stuff, I design it myself. Right. And that I think is the essence of, of, of knowing yourself firstly and then presenting it to, the, it to the world with that confidence. And they were so interactive and they were so keen to know me as a person mm -hmm. and what my likes and dislikes are and then design caps accordingly. Right. That's why these are so special to me because as I said, there's a lot of planning and a lot of detailing that has gone into Absolutely. making these caps. Yeah. And that's why they are so special to me and only then I can present it to pe people because I connect to them first. Right. So that was the whole idea behind it and there was no doubt in, in collaborating with New Era because they are the number one brand in the world. Uh, they've done so many signature collections before, so yep. you as an athlete get confidence mm. that the collaboration is going to be taken care of. Yes. It's not a random collaboration. It's not just for, you know, presenting it out there. But you as an athlete are respected. Mm. You are involved at all stages and that's what they are going to present it to the consumers as well. Absolutely. John, coming from his question, you know, uh, New Era has played a very strong role in the street culture as we spoke and in sports in USA. How do you think has the company evolved to become a cultural influence for Americans? Well, it's a really interesting story that we have because you mentioned a lot about it. We would it. love to hear that. You, you mentioned a lot about it at the beginning when you, in the very good introduction that you made. Hmm. Um, we started nearly 100 years ago. And in 1934, the company decided to get into sport and invented the baseball cap. Now we supply baseball caps onto every on-field team. So there's no baseball caps that are worn in the field of play in the US that aren't New Era caps. But the really big moment for us came in 1993, when Spike Lee, the famous US um, film director, came to us and he said, I'm a fan of the New York Yankees, but I want a red cap, because mm. that's going to match my Jordans. Now, if you follow the Yankees, the Yankees wear navy blue. They don't wear red. Right. So why would we do a red cap? But it's a long story, but eventually, the owner of the company said, hell, let's do a red cap. Okay. He went to the game the next day. He was all over the media. And from then on, the whole uh, fashion, lifestyle, headwear uh, boom started. Kids wanted to wear headwear as an expression of who they were. Right. To match up with their sneakers, 
to be different, to show that they were cool and on trend. And uh, that's 25 years ago, and that's still a key part of our brand. We're a sports brand, but we're also a culture brand. And when we bring them together, like a collaboration with Vera, that's when we're really strong. Sounds wonderful. So, a new era has also collaborated with various brands and companies for caps like MLB and Marvel Studios in the past, just naming a few of them. Do you plan to collaborate with any more Indian brands in the future? Well, we started off with what we believe is to be the one that's totally right for us. But ongoing, when we develop our business, yes, if the brand is aspirational for our consumers and it's right and it fits in with our portfolio, then we would look at it. But obviously today, we really want to concentrate on the Virat thing and make it work for us. Okay. Just one question. Do you think that IPL in India is comparable to MLB in USA in terms of the impact that it has on the culture and emotions that it brings out on people? Wow. That, that's your <laughs> uh, Is that an NBA question, I think? I might have to... <laughs> Well, uh, the audience okay. wants to know that. Well, remember, I'm from England. I'm not American. So I, right. can't, I, can't come, <laughs> I can't come in on Americans. But they, they say in America that it's the America's pastime. That's what they call baseball. So from a cultural point of view, they say it's America's pastime. But I've been a follower of, a cricketer since, of cricket since I was a little boy. Right. But not until I came to India did I realize how big cricket is here. How it, big is it here? It's, is it? <laughs> it's everything to people here, it's from the everything. taxi driver you meet to the guy in the restaurant. Everything. They all want to talk about cricket. Absolutely. And you can't compare cricket with baseball because here it's, if it's America's pastime here, it's India's life. And I think it's, it, it's a fabulous thing to follow. So I've been following cricket for a long time and to, to see it in this country is something really special. Well, you said it, cricket is everything for India. Virat, coming back to you. Um, Today you have launched your own signature collection. How involved were you in the process? As I mentioned before, I was, I was very involved. Um, you know, took out time uh, when we were playing the Champions Trophy in England <clears throat> to go to the office, uh, meet with the team. They were pretty excited to have me there as well. And I think we spent about um, close to three hours there. Wow. Um, going through all the materials of caps and designs and, you know, the... the uh, different styles of caps they had with you know different combinations as you saw that there was camo as well in there right. um, mixed with something else and there was mesh at the back trucker hats and and everything I mean I went through um, a whole lot of caps and the best thing was that it was all displayed out there mm -hmm. for me to have a look right. so I saw exactly what it's gonna look like when it's uh, done and dusted and that helps you immensely you know it's, it's just not talk in the air that they're talking about something, but it's actually physically there for you to see. Yeah, exactly. And just to be able to design my own cap sitting there was pretty cool because I've never done that. I've only bought caps wherever I've gone. <laughs> and then here's a team that comes to me and says, okay, design your own. So I was pretty excited, very, very happy about it. And I walked out very, very satisfied. Amazing. Oh, my last question for you is, you're the first Indian to have a signature line from New Era. How does that feel? Just to summarize this, how does that feel? Amazing. Um, as I mentioned, um, when I stepped onto the stage. It's a very special day for me and um, that's why I wanted to thank everyone for being here. Um, it's not often that these kind of collaborations happen. You can tell when the number one, number one cap uh, headwear uh, brand in the world collaborates with you for the first time in your country. It's obviously a thing of uh, privilege right. and a huge honor for me. Absolutely. And I want to thank them for the opportunity that they think that this collaboration will work and uh, we'll move forward together and uh, you know create the new era sensation in India as well. Fantastic. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Please let's have a round of applause for them. Thank you. Virat okay. has a surprise that he wants yeah, to talk about. So I, I have um, <laughs> someone very special here who's going to be uh, doing something special for you all tonight. Um, he's been a good friend of mine. Uh, we've played a lot together as well. And um, he's someone who is quite fun loving and you know he's someone that you all have seen quite a bit and um, you might have seen me in his music videos here and there as well um, a friend uh, a fellow cricketer someone who's excited people all over the world and entertained them um, I want to call upon Dwayne Bravo um, Woo! he's gonna be performing his new song for us and he's he's been kind enough to wear my cap doing it so I hope you guys enjoy it I wish them all the best cheers all right thank you so much congratulations <laughs> to a legend thank you thank you very much great partnership all the best
What a performance. Hi. <laughs> Don't we all want to... <coughs> Do you want a moment alone with him? Please walk the ramp, sir. How do you do this? <laughs> All right. What made you write and record songs? How did that happen? Um, I think coming from the Caribbean, you know, music is a big part of our culture in the Caribbean. And I think everywhere in the world, music and sport go hand in hand. I'm a type of person love to make people happy. Uh, the way how I play on a cricket field, you know, I dance on a cricket field. So Did he make you guys happy? <laughs> Come on, let's clap for him. Uh, Woo! It's just the way of my life. I'm a very happy, positive person, so I try to do music that can inspire people and make them enjoy, enjoy themselves. You are a very happy person, but you're also a very busy person. How do you manage to take out time from your busy sketch for this? Well, busy people make time for things they really want to do and things that they want to achieve. That's so true. I'm very passionate about music. I must say it's a hobby that I'm turning into more professional career now. Um, cricket will always be my number one priority, but there will be times where I have a downtime. So I, I do music, I record music, three to four songs I'll record and put it down and just have it there and release them at a particular time. Well, you do an amazing job at that. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer. Your favorite singer. My favorite singer is a guy by the name of Beanie Man. He's a dancehall artist. <laughs> <laughs> he's a dancehall artist in Jamaica. Um, <laughs> so he's the one is my favorite. Okay, awesome. What's your equation like with Virat? It's good. It's good. Um, Virat actually play under 19 with my younger brother, Darren Bravo. And I always tell my brother, Virat is a person he should look up to. And um, I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm here. I actually asked Vera to talk to my brother personally about batting, about cricket. Um, when I see Vera, I see the Cristiano Ronaldo of cricket. Whoa. Like, that, wow. that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the level he's at. And, um, well said. You know, we agree to, with you. For me as a cricket player, to play against him, you know, and to watch him play when you represent India or even RCB is just to admire the talent that he has, the, the passion he has for the game and for the sport yes. and the way he plays. So hats off to him and he deserves all the achievement, all the accolades that he's getting. Yeah. Well said. All right, my last question to you is what's next after Rundi World? After Rundi World, I have a song called Asia. Ooh. So I had Champion, I have Run the World, and Asia, I'm planning to release with the Asia Cup, and that's also is going to be a mega hit. So Asia is like, call up my friend Sangakara, 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 so me tell him to call up Mihela, Mihela, Mihela. <laughs> now we go across to India, India, <laughs> India, and I call up my friend named Kohli. Coley, Coley, somebody tell him to WhatsApp Dhoni. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, thank Bravo. You, thank thank you. you for joining us. Your that performance and thank this one both were amazing. Thank you. Well, uh, that brings me to the end of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. And I would like to thank you all for your beautiful grace and presence today at this evening. And on that, I will call it a good night. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your evening. Thank you so much.